Hello everybody, welcome to SQL Performance Tuning with reference to Oracle. The first question that arises in this context is, why is tuning necessary in the first place? Why can Oracle not efficiently run my queries the way I write them? Why does it need help from me? Why is Oracle not Google? The answer to this is that it is a tough job. Imagine having 5 tables and you have about 120 different join orders. The way, the sequence in which Oracle can join the different tables. Over and above that, imagine that you have two filters in that query. What is a filter? A filter is something that restricts a particular row from appearing in the output. For example, if you need information on all employees where employee type is not permanent, then that's a filter. Employee dot employee type not equal to permanent. However, table one dot field one equal to table two dot field two. That's not a filter. It's a join. Okay. So you have five different tables and two different filters on two different tables. Now Oracle must just not select the optimum join order of the tables. It must also find out which filter should be executed first. And it has to do all this in a small period of time, in a fraction of a second, before it runs the query. That is a tough job. It needs help from us. Okay. How do we do this help? The first thing is to avoid some common query pitfalls. For example, using not equal to in a query prevents the use of indexes. We will come to indexes in a moment. But for now, please understand a dot field 1 not equal to a dot field 2. That is not a good thing to use. What you should try to use is the greater than operator or the less than operator instead of the not equal to operator. Also large in this prevent the use of indexes. Functions like substring prevent the use of indexes. And union which involves a distinct operation is also not performance friendly. Instead of union try to use union all if you do not want that the result set be unique. Okay, now moving forward to a specific example, let us have the book table and the author table. In the book table we have fields like book ID, but reference, yes or no, whether it's a reference book or not, author ID and some other fields. It is printed on a piece of paper on 10 pages and it is ordered by book ID. The author table is printed on three pages and is ordered by author ID. Now, when I start tuning, I consider this. How would I search for the data that Oracle has to search if I was given the information printed on paper? Suppose I am looking for the data for all author names who have reference books against their name. If I start with the book table, I would have to search the author table and if I start with the author table, I will also have to search the book table. Now, suppose I start with the book table. For the first reference book, I get the author ID and with the author ID, I, I can find the author name easily because the author table is already sorted by the author ID. If I start with the author table on the other hand, I would have to search the book table completely looking for all reference books for that author or at least for one particular reference book. So it is not efficient one way while it is not that much efficient the other way. So Oracle has to search and we have to see while tuning that it searches the optimal way that we would use. Now how do we influence this decision? The first way to influence this decision is to use indexes. We all know that an index is a list and points you to a location where the detailed information is located. A schematic diagram of an oracle index appears before you. In oracle, an index can be on a single column or it can be on a multiple column. Over here, a multiple column index on the author ID and the book ID is shown. If you are looking for author ID 2, book 8, oracle will retrieve the row ID by looking through the index and then retrieve the data from the table using the row ID. If you have author and book filters in your query then this index can be optimally used. If you have just 
the author ID filter, then still this index can be used. But author will have to search for a range, and that is why it's called a range scan. However, if you have just book ID filter in your query, then this particular index cannot be used because this particular index has no way to retrieve the book information without the author information. Now coming to execution of queries, when Oracle has to execute a query, the first thing that it does is to create a plan on how it is going to execute that query. One such plan is shown on your screen right now when Oracle is executing this plan, it will execute things from inside to outside and from bottom to top. Over here the explain plan shows you a full table scan. What it means is that Oracle will go search for the entire table search the entire table for that information, which is expensive and must be avoided like plague. How do we remove this full table scan from the plan? By creating more indexes or maybe optimizing the join order. How do we optimize the join order? One way to do that is through the use of statistics. Statistics is what Oracle stores about tables or fields. For example, this table has so many rows or this particular field has such a data profile that it has 70% yes values and 30% no values. Such information being stored and used during execution, during plan making is called statistics. A DBA can choose what statistics to create on which tables, which fields. And these statistics will be used during the execution of the plan. One another thing that we can do is through the use of hints. A hint is written as part of the query but is not really a part in the sense that it does not affect the result set but it only affects the way the auditor executes the query that is the plan. One of the most useful hints that I have found is the leading hint. The leading hint tells Oracle that this is the table it must start with while executing the query. This is the first table in your sequence of joins. More information about hints, statistics, plans on the page associated with this tutorial. The URL of that page is given at the beginning of the tutorial. Thank you.